Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the stunning Mercedes-Benz GLA 220D AMG line. Now this is of course finished in 191, which is Cosmos Black Metallic, very similar to the 197 Obsidian Black Metallic, but with a bit of a deeper undertone. The car, I will admit, is a little bit wet. I've just had to go and jet it off, because where it is now, it's very sunny and it's quite dusty on our pitch. So if there are a few marks of dust, do forgive me, I've just gone and give it a quick jet to make it as clean as I can for this video. But without any more waffle, let's get stuck into why you should consider this as your next car. You can see you've got your LED high performance headlights there with daytime runners, Cosmos Black Metallic, AMG alloy wheels, you've also got your front parking sensors here, and you've got that gorgeous mesh effect honeycomb grille just on there as part of the AMG pack. You've got the nice big chrome diffuser at the front and front parking sensors and the really groovy Tri-Star logo finished in the satin chrome. Now moving around you can see all the body works in great order and shut lines where they should be. Real, real nice looking car. You can see here you have of course got the big 19 inch five spoke AMG alloy wheels with a black Mercedes Benz caliper just behind. And moving down you've got the chrome on the side step just there giving it that nice side skirt feel. A bit more of a tip to the cap of the executive nature of AMG but with a performance undertone as well. On here you've got your body coloured door mirrors with a built in indicator. You've got the big pan roof up top which is of course a super super impressive and almost essential option on any car in the modern day. Chrome roof rails, chrome window surround, and you also got the chrome housing on top of the black door handles just there. Moving around again, you can see that you've got the rear AMG spoiler, rear LED lights with the Svarkovsky crystals in, just see them glittering there. And you can see you've got the rear parking sensors, black bumper, and of course you've got the chrome rear diffuser just down the bottom. Now there, you've got rear parking sensors, you've got the chrome badging, and of course, the formatic badging just here, which symbolizes and recognizes it is the Mercedes-Benz four-wheel drive. You've also got slightly darkened tinted privacy glass on the rear three windows. Now, in terms of opening up the boot, you can see, click the button here, automatically opens, and you're greeted by a very modest sized boot of which you can fit in my entire shadow, even in a woolly hat in this weather. Crazy, I know, making a living, it's what I do. But you can see in there, it's ample for not only my really bad jokes, but also plenty of storage in terms of, you've got push chairs, buggies, so you can get shopping in there, suitcases, clothes, then Christmas presents come that time of year. And underneath, you can see you've got further storage as well if you need it. To shut the boot, simply press the button and that will close it down. On there as well, you can see the crown boot strip to protect that paintwork. Now moving around, you've got the vents on the bottom half of the rear quarter, and you can see you've got that gorgeous shadow all the way across, giving it that real mirror finish. I've only give that a quick jet wash off. Didn't even have time to dry it for the fact that I wanted to get this video done. But even in this light, it looks absolutely immense. The GLA is that perfect crossover between A-class and C-class without having to step all the way up to the GLC class. It's practical, it's spacious, it's got low running costs, and overall, it's a great looking car. But don't just take my word for it, wait till I show you what the inside has to offer as well. So internally, obviously the brand of Mercedes-Benz caliper has a reputation to live up to. And I'm super pleased to say that the inside of the GLA does match up to it absolutely perfectly. Starting here with a sculpted front sport seat, article man-made leather and the Dynamica fabric just in the middle. Red contrast stitching, which is echoed throughout the vehicle, which is of course the AMG colorway. You've got electronic number support. You've also here got the extended leg extenders just there. And you can see that you've got the electric seating, which I'll show in a minute. AMG floor mats, Mercedes-Benz door inlay. And there is your electronic memory seating, central locking, half Alcantara, half on the leather with a red stitching, electric folding and adjustable windows. And of course, you've also got 
the child lock just down here. We might boot release as well. And before we get in, we'll head into the rear seats. You can see you've got on there, you've got the tri seating. You've also got the same sculpted sport seat, this time with Isofix and plenty of leg room in the rear. And you can see your third and fourth AMG floor map just there. Now getting in the GL8, it's a nice place to be. It's very roomy, very practical quite an obvious trait but you're getting some cars and they're not the seats aren't too restrictive they're not too supportive as you're getting some of the Japanese models they're just that nice blend of comfort but sporty as well now in terms of the dash you've got the analog clock faces just there and you can see you've got the nice swirl in the background of the black faces you've got the wide contrast font and the red needling really really nice now to turn it on you can see you've got your push button start just here press it once that'll let all the clocks all the dials engage foot on the brake turn it on you can see it starts with no issues no hesitation no lag no delay and most importantly no warning lights so what we're going to do now we're just going to shut that pan roof for a minute just to stop the glare on the screen so you can see it that bit better and we're going to pull the electronic sun blind across as well just like so and that should stop any glare just like so so now we are now in the middle you can see you have of course got your digital screen just here and that is controlled using this button here so you've got your digital speedo you've got your trip computer there which of course tells you it's covered just over 41,300 mile you've also got your range what's left in the tank eco display and you've got your trip computer options just there as well but you can click on navigation and if you're really not aware of what that does basically you have got the SD card based nav facility so what that will do it won't bring up a virtual cockpit of obviously Garmin don't do them but what that would be is just any instructions that you need to follow and of course your direction of travel as you can see there you've also got your audio options there which is Bluetooth and your radio options and you've also here got your Bluetooth telephone you can go onto assistance and if you click on the graphic that brings up a virtual roadway which of course just tells you of any upcoming obstacles or information you might need to be aware of scroll down and you get attention assist which in easy language tells you how long you've been driving it monitors it and will recommend a rest stop when needed ESP which is electronic stability you've got brake assist and the attention assist we've just discussed if you click on service you can get your tyre pressures and reset them and you've also got your assist plus which tells you which service is next in this case it's A7 and it's not due for 335 days total reassurance and no potential maintenance in the foreseeable future and if you click on settings at the end you can change your instrument cluster you can also change the lighting so you've got your DRLs just there you can also change some vehicle settings such as your winter tyres automatic door locks and whether they make a noise when they do some people turn the acoustic lock off just for safety so nobody knows that they've just locked their door convenience you've got your folding mirrors or you can do a factory reset and put everything back to how it came straight out the box now moving down from there you can see you've got your one stalk here which is of course your wipers and your high beam lights and that is because on this side you have the other one stalk which is of course your gearbox yep no longer in the middle they've changed everything you know and put it on one of the stalks now it's really simple to use you can see if i press it down it doesn't change if i press it up it doesn't change i have to collect and select the brake first so if i put my foot on the brake now you can see if i take my foot off the lines disappear put it on you can see them down if i put it down now it's in d which is drive now you know that because it changes just here put it in reverse put it up goes into r and you know because you've got a gorgeous Kia Stinger finished in the background just there to put it back in park click that button just there now what else you can see on the steering wheel you've got on the left and right you've got the paddle shift options minus moves the gears down and plus moves the gears up basically it's the best way of driving for me giving it total reassurance total focus on what's ahead of you both hands on the wheel like this and it just gives you that real sports and track feel to a car that otherwise may not feel that way instrument cluster menu and of course you've got your lingotronic your volume control and your bluetooth telephone and the steering wheel itself is of course the flat bottom finished in napa leather and perforated leather grip areas with the red contrast stitching a great addition and one that looks really really good on this particular vehicle now moving across before we get onto the nav you can see you've got the brushed aluminium trim which flows through all the way into the second memory seating on the passenger door card really really nice and really luxurious 
Now you've got the seven inch tablet media system here, which is operated by this little gizmo, which I call the iDrive. Sorry, Mercedes fans, I know that's BMW terminology. And on that, you can see you've got your Garmin Nav, which is of course part of the SD card just here. Really functional, really simple to use, and it's from a brand that you know and can trust. You've also got your radio here. So you can see if you click on radio, you can scroll down onto waveband and you've got FM and AM. No DAB on this one, I'm afraid, guys. If you click on the media, you can see you can click on there and you can click back on the media button for a second time and it brings up Bluetooth, brings up your CD changer, memory card, and your media interface as well. If you look for your telephone, you click on there, click on connect device, and you're good to go and set for chatting on the road. Now, your on vehicle settings. Now this can be quite complex, click on there, and you can change your locator illumination, interior light, ambient lighting brightness, and of course the ambient lighting color. This one comes fully equipped with the interchangeable colors, which is an optional extra at factory. For us, there's only one color we want, and that is jungle green. You can also change how long the delay is when you turn your car off of the interior and exterior lights as well. Dynamic select, you can individually configure this to your own standards. For me, if I was doing this, I would have the driving manual, which is on flappy paddle, steering in sport, I'd have eco start stop off, I would have the aircon on eco as it looks i've already done this and i must have set that up for when i've done a video for a customer in the past now what you can see on there of course so you can get vehicle data as well what this does it gives you your turning circle and just gives you the degrees and the angle of which your steering wheel currently sits you can also go on the individual configurator again from that menu and change it to what you want to do and finally off there if you scroll down you can of course get onto system settings which is just at the bottom just there and you can change all manner of different things on there to really configure it to your own requirements now moving down you've got the touch screen version well touch screen touch pad rather you can see it's the old school way if you're not comfortable using this device radio media nav eight, telephone mute vehicle settings bluetooth settings cd player turn it on or off and the keypad just there You've also got heated seats for both the driver and passenger. You've got your camera options here, which of course that does give you, sorry, not camera options. You have of course on this button as well, got your vehicle data of which if you click it, it brings up that option. You've got dynamic select, which is your drive select mode of which there are certain modes. Eco, off-road, of course, with a formatic four wheel drive system. This is just as capable off-road as it is on. Individual, which you've configured earlier, sport and comfort. Hazard lights, auto start stop, audible parking sensors, and here you've got the downhill control. So if you are off road, you're able to see here, if you're going down a very steep decline, you'll be able to set your speed pretty similar to how cruise control works to keep it consistent and steady. What you've also got down here is of course your dual zone aircon, meaning I can turn it right up for me to play a trick on the driver on a sunny day like today, and the passenger can sit there laughing because their temperature is very low. We can also change it from auto just on there and if you want the temperature synced you can turn it up so it matches on both sides just like that it will automatically sync to the driver's temperature so if i wanted them both on low and it was on zone i would have to click that one and then change it to sync on there what else we've got is front screen and rear screen heating severity of air portrayed into the cabin where the air is portrayed in recirculation air conditioning and you can turn it off or rest it just there Underneath that, you've got the little fold-up box just there, and that's got a 12 volt charger and storage as well. Under this one, you've got all your storage for your phone, or as in many cars that we see here, or cars that we own, let's all face it, it's used for loose change coins, or then blooming teller Tesco trolley tokens as well. And down here, we've got the iDrive, dual cup holder and credit card holder, bit of ambient lighting, and of course, we've got the sliding armrest just here, which of course, is really simple to use lift that up and in there you have of course got your media interfaces as well and there you go and as you've just seen you can remove the cup holder if you wish so you've just got more storage and you can put that in another area if you so desire but for me there's not really much else i can tell you about this gl8 aside from the pan roof now you can see at the minute the sun blinds up which you'll see in the rear totally get rid of any natural light even though it is perforated but if you've got young children it's great for getting them off to sleep if they don't want to sleep and you don't really want to hear any yabble from them because believe me i've got one of my own 
you can open it up and it stretches all the way across giving them plenty of things to look at and plenty of hours of i spy fun to open it you simply use this button here press it three times that will open the sun blind the roof and of course it will slide it back as well to close it literally press it once you'll see it closes now and if you press it again that will close it with a sun blind on both the front and the rear so in terms of features that's everything guys it's a wrap it's done nada fin finito but what isn't done yet is me telling you about the 128 point emerald check now what that means is that this car has been meticulously checked over by both our body shop operatives and our mechanical team giving it a full and meticulous thorough cosmetic and mechanical preparation of which you can see the results on the inspection sheet on the advert itself we also change oil and filter on any car here when it comes in to stop any confusion or cross contamination on the products that have been used if you've got any questions regarding finance part exchange or just how the emerald brand operate get in touch because we'd love to help you out but more importantly let us know when you want to come down because we can't wait to meet you thank you very much for watching the video and taking the time out of your day hopefully we'll see you soon one of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be hundred percent confident in the company that you choose we have over a thousand five-star reviews on google facebook and auto trader hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years including uk independent dealer of the year independent community dealer of the year and most recently used car retailer of the year integrity and transparency are really important to us at emerald in how we conduct our business we're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly youtube show which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates we cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running from buying selling sourcing after sales and of course everything that goes on over at our rac approved workshop Every one of our car undergoes a 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. We also service every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches its new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market-leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC approved garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR, always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP, and lease options available, depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone. We're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience.
And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, uh, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. Straight, Straight million. million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10? I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 then. Sounds good. Give it a 10. 10. But I'll give you a 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10, <laughs> right? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and Perfect. I'll be back again. <laughs>